Welcome to this special feature on communicating wetland loss and its ripple effects, brought to you by the students of the University of the Gambia. According to the Ramsar Convention, which is an international treaty for the conservation and sustainable use of wetlands, 35% of wetlands have been lost since 1970. Wetlands are disappearing at a rate three times faster than forests, making this one of the most urgent environmental crises right now. In Africa, wetlands have seen a dramatic decline of wetlands, with 64% of its wetland lost since the start of the 20th century. These have been driven by a combination of numerous factors, which includes agricultural expansion, urbanization, population growth, and dam construction as well. Today, we'll be talking about the Tanbi Wetland Complex, which spans approximately 6,000 hectares and located near the urban capital of Banjul, the Gambia. And the Tanbi wetland is primarily made up of uh, mangroves, which provide a critical habitat for fish, birds, crustaceans, and other species as well. Wetland loss is a critical issue that threatens biodiversity livelihoods. By considering the Tanbi wetlands, we can better understand the importance of these wetlands, the benefits they provide, the ripple effects of their loss, and also how we humans can work together to mitigate this growing problem. Wetlands are among the most productive ecosystems in the world. The Tambi Wetland Complex, for instance, plays a crucial role in supporting biodiversity, regulating the climate, and protecting resources for local communities. Biodiversity support. The Tambi Wetland Complex are home to diverse array of species, including fish, birds, and mangroves. This rich biodiversity is not only vital for ecological balance, but also supports local industries like fishing and ecotourism, which are essential to the Gambian economy climate regulation. The mangroves in the Tambi wetlands are exceptional carbon sinks. They store a large amount of carbon to help to mitigate climate change. Additionally, these wetlands protect coastal areas from storm, surge, and erosion, serving as a natural defense against the increasing threats of climate change, economic and social value. The wetlands provide livelihoods for local communities through fishing, tours, and agriculture. They also hold cultural and spiritual significance, being intertwined with local traditions and heritage. Float control. The wetlands act like sponge, absorbing and storing excess water for heavy rainfall and snow melt. It is confirmed that activities that most affect natural wetland loss were agriculture, urbanization, aquaculture, and industry. This has direct impact or pressure exhibited by human beings, implying that increasingly population growth will be an important factor if these future trends are followed. 1. Body diversity decline. The destruction of wetland loss leads to habitation loss for many species and some may face extinction. This can disrupt the entire ecosystem, leading to decline in fish population and other wildlife. This can cause local food security and economics. 2. Increased vulnerability to disaster. Without wetlands to absorb excess water and buffer against storms, communities become more susceptible in flooding, erosion, and other climate-related issues. This will result in displacement, loss of home, and increased poverty. Three, social and economic impacts. Wetland leads to local economic loss that rely on fishing, agriculture, and tourism. It will also erode the cultural and spiritual ties that those communities have with the ecosystem. Four, wetlands serve as water purifiers. This leads to poor water quality, which can cause health problems and increase the risk of waterborne diseases like cholera, malaria, and diarrhea, and increase the cost of wastewater treatment. What are some of the things we can do as humans, either individually or collectively, to mitigate this growing problem of wetland loss? Conservation and restoration. Protecting existing wetlands and restoring degraded ones are crucial in mitigating wetland loss. For example, in the Tanbi wetlands, replanting mangroves and implementing sustainable land use practices can help restore the ecosystem. Sustainable land use, promoting sustainable agriculture, responsible tourism, and eco-friendly developmental practices can help reduce the pressure on wetlands as well. Policy and legislation. Advocating for stronger environmental policies and enforcement of laws that help protect this eco ecosystem is crucial. Governments should prioritize wetlands in their developmental plans and ensure economic activities do not compromise these vital ecosystems. Community engagement and education. Empowering communities with the knowledge and tools to protect these wetlands are crucial. Initiatives that involve community 
uh, participation can foster a sense of ownership and responsibility towards wetland conservation. Research and monitoring. Continuous monitoring and research of our wetlands health can help to detect early threats and also guide effective management strategies. Data collected from the Tanbi wetlands can be used to inform policies and conservation efforts, thereby ensuring the productivity and also preservation of the wetlands for future generations. Wetlands globally, especially in Africa, are in crisis. The rapid loss of this ecosystem does not only affect biodiversity, but also has profound economic, environmental and social impacts. In the Gambia, the Tambi wetland complex is the microcosm of the broader issue, with urbanization, pollution and climate change converging immense pressure on this vital ecosystem. Without urgent action, the ongoing degradation of wetlands could result in irreversible damage to these crucial habitats. Raising awareness about the importance of wetlands, like Tambi Wetland Complex, is crucial for their protection. By understanding the benefits and loss consequences of their loss, we can mitigate actions at all levels, community, individual and government to mitigate wetland loss. Protecting wetlands is not just about preserving nature, it is about securing sustainability for all. Join us in the fight to save our wetlands.